So you're ready to adopt and you're heading to your closest rescue or shelter to pick out your perfect pooch. It's important to bring the entire family as everyone will play some sort of role in your new dog's life. When you get to the shelter, make sure you speak to a staff member or a volunteer about what's important to you in a dog. They know the animals really well and can help you pick out a pooch that's perfect for you. Now when you arrive, it is going to be quite noisy. The dogs only get out for a small amount of time every day and everyone's going to be super excited. How each dog behaves here isn't necessarily how they're going to behave when you get them home. They might not bark all the time, be hyperactive or in some cases be quite so timid. That's why I've asked if I can meet B1 and B2 here for a little bit of two on one. Hello boys. <laughs> when you first come face to snout with the dog you're thinking of adopting, it's important to make a connection with them. You need to find a dog that you not only absolutely adore, but one that fits in with your current lifestyle and your commitments. There are so many things to think about when adopting a dog. Monica is the founder of Doggy Rescue on the North Shore of Sydney. Monica, can you please tell us what are the three most important things to think about when adopting a dog? I think the three most important are temperament, energy levels and lifestyle. And with temperament, I mean that every member of the family is able to do what we're doing here. Pick the dog up, that it's really comfortable, you can put the fingers in the mouth, it's not scared, you can touch it in its little private spots and everything's good. And mm -hmm. that's especially important for children to be able to do all these things to the dog and they're comfortable. With energy levels, it's really important because um, dogs have a lot of different um, energies and if you're a very sporty person who jogs or goes to the gym, Foxies, Jack Russells, Whippets are the sort of dog for you that have the similar sort of energy match. But if your life is more relaxing, reading a book, having a glass of wine, then you go more for the sort of the catch potato type dogs, <laughs> more like Shih Tzus and Maltese and things like that. So it's very, very important not to take a dog that is too exuberant for you. And lastly, the lifestyle, because we all live in different sort of places. You wouldn't put a Rottweiler or a Great Dane in an apartment where you don't even have a balcony, whereas on an acreage property, that is absolutely ideal. So it's all about matching where you're living, how you're living, the hours that the dog is left unattended, all very, very important. Mm. Well, thanks for the advice, Monica. Okay, so you've found a dog that you absolutely adore and you're ready to adopt. What next? The first thing you'll need to do is bring in any pets from home. That's right, they're part of the family too and it's important that everyone gets along. Now your new doggy will come de-sexed and with its first vaccination. On the off chance that it's not de-sexed, please make this a priority. All you need to do now is make sure your home is doggy friendly and you have the basics. Things like a bowl, food, a collar and a lead. Remember a pet is for life. You're making a very important decision so take your time. Find a fit that's right for everyone, and that includes you, the entire family, the neighbours, and of course your new furry four-legged friend.